sunshine it's Evelyn of Evergreen Night Dolls and welcome back to the channel so today I wanted to share with you guys a new doll that I just got in the mail and um, I know I'm sort of on a dolly budget right now actually I'm really on a dolly budget but I have sold about seven I think it was like seven dolls from my personal collection so um, so yeah I figured it wouldn't be that bad to add a couple new ones into the collection because I just did a um, video um, last yesterday or day before yesterday of another doll that um, a cloth doll that I got from Cuddly Cute and so now um, I have another doll that's from Kate's Baby Dolls so I will link that in the video as well as in the description but let's go ahead and open this little cutie up um, I saw it in one of the groups that I'm in um, I think it's the joys of doll collecting um, I think that's the group that I saw this in but it was just too stinking cute to pass up so I ordered it and it was very reasonably priced reasonably priced oh, wow, you guys I got a 10% off for my next order 10% off code so oh that's great so I will definitely probably be using that because they have a bunch of um, super cute dolls on their site but let's go ahead and show you guys so yeah like I said I am on a strict dolly budget because I have two other dolls that came in that I'm going to show you guys later but um, yeah they're sort of grail dolls that I didn't know were grail dolls until um, they were presented to me but we'll talk more about that later it's a it's a really cool um it's gonna be a really cool unboxing so all right so you guys ready Ta -da! it's so adorably cute all right so let's get this plastic off oh my gosh and they smell so good Oh my gosh, you guys, it smells like vanilla. I think they did say that on the, um, mm, you guys, oh my goodness. And I just recently also did a video um, that showed um, like the new ice creams I got, the Smize cream that I got, and talk about that. And here I have a doll that smells like vanilla ice cream. Oh my goodness. Look at this. So they're about 10 inches oh my goodness i am in love you guys and in one of my other videos i mentioned that i don't own any cabbage patch kids and i couldn't pinpoint the reason why the reason why is because i love the chunky cuteness of their faces but i actually don't care for the cloth bodies that they have but this one is fully like a vinyl or plastic and it's actually pretty squishy and super adorable and he's just like chunky all over i love these hands and feet and the toes like the big old toes and fingers it's so cute um i have my vigma bambo doll so these ones right here that i did a video on as well but they have like the chunky hands and feet that i just love um let's see if i can pull one out and show you guys so you see what I mean with these like troll kind of like troll like feet and the chunky cuteness of them so yeah when I saw these I was like oh yeah I definitely have to get one oops that has little bunny ears but yeah this one was on sale on their site and um, I definitely had to get me a little a brown baby so and I love the teeth the teeth were what sold me on this particular one so the cute little baby teeth there, so adorable. Look at the belly. Oh, he's so cute. And I love the expression in the hands. It's not just like, you know, a plain, like normal position. And then the feet are super cute and adorable. And it's like a squishy vinyl or plastic. And it has like the hair is sort of like molded onto the doll. And you guys, I opted to get the one with the molded hair instead of like the real hair. Just because it's less maintenance. I think I'll always go with the doll that has sort of molded because hair. It's like a lot easier to maintain than like a real hair. Like so um, less things to worry about and mess up and so yeah super adorable um let's see the passy the passy doesn't really fit in their mouths but it's cool that they added a little passy i think that's really sweet and then so these are called pepote so um original nines de o'neill 
Um, so these are straight from Spain. So they were um, made in Spain. So, but there's a manufacturer here called Kate's Baby Dolls and she sells them, but they were made in Spain 100%. And they have a ton of different adorable, like little cuties and yeah, so authentically made 100% in Spain and just adorable. Um, I actually like these eyes a lot more than I thought they would. I thought about changing the eyes out because I have a bunch of eyes laying around that I'm trying to get rid of and I have some brown ones so I thought about changing the eyes to brown but they actually don't look that bad but um, yeah I will see um, if I decide to do that or not and maybe share that with you guys but I am so happy and definitely excited to add this little cutie to my collection um, I want to show, show y'all the little tushy but because of YouTube I might not do that but it comes with this adorable little super soft diaper and the little bib and yeah super sweet and cute I love 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 it you guys let me know what y'all think in the comments of this little chunk you guys chunky babies are my absolute favorite like the chunkier the better in my opinion like they're so stinking cute like just adorable so sweet all right so there is and like I said smells amazing you guys so I think they add like a scent to I will insert pictures at the end but yeah so there's my little kitty and you guys speaking of the mail I actually um, had a cool thing happen so I was at the post office sending off one of my dolls and I walked into the post office and there was a doll sitting there on packages like none of the attendants were there it was just a doll sitting on some packages I was like OMG what's going on and I finally the mail lady came up to um, uh, to check me out and everything and um yeah i asked the, like whose doll is that and it was um one of the ladies that works in the back or was working in the back and she usually attends to me um at the register and so yeah i was like i really want it because it was super cute and um i love the migurumi crochet style dolls and this was like a really big one so um yeah i was hoping i could maybe get it or buy it or something but apparently i met another doll collector so my favorite male lady is actually a doll collector and um, unfortunately she lost her house in a fire a few years ago and um, there was a sweet lady who came in and um, gave her a doll as a gift and so she loves it and she told me that she used to collect dolls and have them all on her bed and because of the fire she lost them all but um, you know I guess she's collecting them again so I find that so cool and the lady who made it for her um, is also going to be doing is open to doing classes like crochet classes so I'm really gonna think about doing that because it's super close to home and so it's something I've really wanted to learn so you guys watch out I might be making some crochet amigurumi Rummy dolls if all goes so well. So cool to be able to meet people in the real world so you know outside of social media and the internet who are interested in your same like hobbies and interests especially um, the dog community I don't think is very is that big um, but yeah it's so cool to be able to find someone especially in your own town who's a doll collector so I was really excited when I found out that she collected dolls and you guys I've known her for like years now and seen her you know she's always like attended to me at the post office and everything and I would have never known that she collected dolls so um yeah it's really amazing what you can find out about people and everything and um yeah we kind of like bond anyway so I think that's like a doll collector's thing I don't know but um yeah it was really cool to just see that but I just wanted to share it with you guys um that little experience that I had today and share this little cutie with you guys all right y'all so if you like this video make sure to give me a big thumbs up and if you want to see more fun dolly content make sure to consider subscribing if you haven't already and thank you guys so much for watching again peace love and blessings talk to y'all later bye it is burning up in here i am sweating